Let's cut it. One, two, three, click. There we go. All right, I'm going to show you a real quick way to make a, a two tier setting for a round stone. Could be a three prong, six prong, four prong, how many prongs you need. I'm going to show you. It can be any dimensions that you want. That's up to you. I'm just going to show you how to make a quick one for this tutorial. Let's go to this uh, icon right there. We're going to right click it. Now we're going to open up this tube right there. Or I'll click it with the left. Make sure your snap is on. Oh, snap it into the center there. Move it out about six millimeters for approximately one carat stone. That will be your dimension. Now let's bring it in. Oh, approximately whatever you like. It's your your decision. Let's make it uh, right there. We'll click it. Now double click your uh, viewport title. Here we are in the front view. Let's take it up two millimeters. Now let's highlight that. And let's ortho on right here. Let's drag it up in the front view. Drag it up. Well, whatever you want. We'll just drag it up. Oh, I'm sorry. We need to copy that. Let's do that again. So let's uh, hit copy. And we'll just copy it and drag it back down to our line. And there we have two right there. As you can see in our perspective, shaded. All right, let's make the prongs. Double click your top viewport. Here's the thing, something you can do if you want. It's up to you. You can go to this box right here, right click it, draw a rectangle from center, which is this one right here. We're gonna draw, turn your snap and ortho off. Actually leave the snap on, and we'll pick it up right there. Now turn your snap off. Extend your box out approximately uh, so it looks somewhat similar to that. Left click it. Now, clear your point. I'm going to add a point approximately in the middle of this distance, right, right around here. Add a point. There. Now we're going to click our center circle again. Make sure point is on our, uh, is snapped on. Take it to the point draw your circle maybe draw just a little bit bigger oh you could draw it about there you can cut this out now we we'll cut it and we can cut the point now highlight that double click let's extrude this thing right click it this box right click it go right here extrude both sides no cap is yes both sides no let's drag it up in the front view take it up about two millimeters there's one prong now top viewport double click it let's array it in a circle so this one right click it come to your array right there left click it center of array put your snap on center is right there number of items change that to 4, hit enter, reference point 360, enter, and there you have it right there. Did we get those? Oh, we didn't get those because of the fact that we highlighted the circle, not the surface. Let's do it one more time. Poly surface right there. Array it. Click it right. Array it. Center of array. Number items four, right click it, 364, and there you have it right there. Four prong setting, all complete and ready to go.